Hey guys, back with another video, and today I will be showing you the best drop, pathing, and rotation that you can do in a game of Chapter 2, Season 4. Before we get started, I'm just going to say this is not a tip for professionals. This is for the players who aren't that good or don't know how to play the game as well as some people would. Because if you're a professional, you already know exactly where to drop, exactly what to do, and how to do it. So my drop is the Shark, which was a highly regarded POI in Chapter 2, Season 2, but has dropped ever since Chapter 2, Season 3 with the Big Flood, and now in Chapter 2, Season 4, it is completely destroyed with only a few features remaining from the original island. So what you have here is an island that is really small in the corner of the map, not too many people drop here, but it has a ton of loot with about 12 to 14 possible chest spawns and because they took away guaranteed chest spawns you'll probably only get at least five or six each round but that's still a great amount for basic starting and you may not think this is the best place to drop but if you're a noob if you're not that good at the game it's very rare that more than two or three people end up landing here so there's a very good chance that you're going to get away with some good loot all blues, all purples, at least blues. That's what you should be able to get away with here, and that's what you probably will. But more importantly than just the dropping at the shark part is the rotation and the pathing that you will eventually be doing throughout this. That is the big part where you'll get the most loot. This is just a place to drop for the people who aren't that good at the game, but want decent loot to start at the beginning. Next, we're going to show you where some of the chest spawns are. So there's supposed to be one that can sometimes appear on top of the shark's nose. There's one where I showed you back there, in, right in that room. There's one in the vault. There's a lot of different ones. So my suggestion, after you go to the shark, you go to this little house. You can get there through the porta potty in the vault, or you can just swim straight there from the shark opening. And then you have two choices in my rotation. You can either go up to Lockie's Lighthouse, if the circle is good for you, break the entire bottom of that, and you can get some decent loot falling from above with no effort. But if you can't, and after that, no matter what, take a rift and go into Doom's Domain and check out the loot at the vault. That is the most important thing about this drop, because you see I have green, purple, green, blue, and then some minis as my loadout which isn't good enough to win you a game if you're noob like me. But with the loot that I'm going to get from here, it'll be different. So as you can see, there's an unopened airdrop, so I immediately know there's somebody in here because there's a build. So watch. Switch to my gun quickly. Completely laser them. They're gone, and I have all the weapons that I'll need in here. Key to check if all the things that you can see behind the wall that they build are open, because you could get sneak attack from the side or from behind the door. It's very common and you do not want that to happen to you. As you see, I already have a purple sniper, a LMG, a purple scar. I'm going to stick with the green pump because for some reason it's only combat shotguns that basically ever appear in this vault. I really don't know why, but it always seems to have that. So as you see, we already have a extremely good loadout and all we need is a purple or gold pump to get this into the god tier. Popping right out of Doom's Domain, the circle may be all the way on the bottom right of the map, the opposite of where we landed, but with that first rift, we should be able to get there easily. I'm showing you guys not using the helicopter, because if you decide to do this in arena, in competitive, or just for fun, there's a really good chance that the helicopter won't be there, so it's not a viable option every time, and the circle I'm showing you is one of the farthest away from the shark that you can get. We got a person right over here. Missed him with my snipe, a little bit low. Not too bad though. Lost them. We're gonna make our way to zone right now. If you have the time and if the zone is right, if you don't get good enough loot from the Dr. Doom vault, or if the vault isn't open and you can't find Dr. Doom anywhere, it is always a good option to use the zip line or use the helicopter that you got from the Dr. Dooms if you're able to do it to go up to Stark Industries and get the vault there and all the floor loot that random people leave because that's another big section that you can get some loot from. 
I personally think that the route that I started with with the Dooms Domain is better, but if you need to go and get more loot, Stark Industries late game, mid game is the best place to do it as long as it's not center zone because if you get a lot of people at Stark Industries, you're dead. Making our way over to zone with that rift. So that's my pathing using the Sentinel's hand to get all the way over here. So that's how you get to Misty Meadows with only, from all the way from the shark with only taking 11 total damage from the storm. Very, very easy. Very good pathing. Very good rotation. I wouldn't suggest this route for anyone in competitive because it's very hard to rotate with everyone clumping up in the final zone and how it works back then. But for anyone who's just going casual, not doing super competitive, this is great for you. Seeing if we can get the snipe off on this person. There we go. Got him. No chance. Let's see, there's one more person here. The Gorger is extremely low health. Can we manage to snipe them? Oh, come on. God, it's so hard to see them with the AR with all the gatherers there. They exploded it. Oh, they jumped straight over it. They know we're shooting at them. I'm not too worried here. Let's see. it. There we go. 110 damage. Easy shot. Distance. And now we have the God tier loadout. This would be acceptable, especially because we just got some chug splashes to get up our loot. And if we didn't, we would have had a purple AR. We got some med kits. But now we're going over to the place that gets you the best loot in the entire game. As a rule of thumb, I'd never suggest going for the Gorger on your own. It's an extremely hard thing to do. But now we got Wolverine's Claws. There's gold snipers, gold rocket launchers, anything you want from loot. Chug splashes, med kits, big pots, minis, purple, gold, blue, green, traps, bouncers. Literally whatever you could want from a loadout is here. Can't believe it. I I don't even know if I want to take any heals because we got such good weapons. We got someone over there. Let's see if we can take care of them. This should be easy with our loadout. Bang. And one more. They're gone. And that was a real player too. Okay. So we're being shot at again. We have almost all the loot we need. I think I'm going to chug splash one more time just because that person managed to hit me. Was that a person? I'm so confused. I don't have headphones, so I can't hear anything in the game. So if you're wondering why you think I'm so dumb and there's people obviously shooting behind me and then I don't turn around, that's why. I think we're going to end up taking an RPG down here instead of a heal. I don't know why, but we have the Wolverine's Claws for health regen if we ever get down to just 100 or lower. So that's the heals that we'll be taking. Normally I would take, instead, I wouldn't take Wolverine's Claws, I'd just stay with my normal pump and instead I'd take some med kits and then I wouldn't take the rocket launcher, but this is a special scenario because I almost never get Wolverine's Claws or a rocket launcher and you're not expected to doing this route. There is a chance that you actually might get it. But it's very rare, so that's not what you're trying to go for. You're trying to go for the good purple pump, gold scar, purple sniper. That's the kind of stuff that you want. And then you should have just enough heals from the shark and from the vault that you went to to get an easy victory royale. We got a galaxy skin up here. I'm gonna be hard snipe. I really should probably put myself under cover, but I don't care. I'm sort of acting like a noob here, and I'm not that bad, but. I really should. I think we're gonna swim over here, see if we can press this person. Let's see. Oh shoot, there's a big build fight going up there. Actually, no, that never mind, that's small. It's just on a mountain. Can't see anyone, and I'm being lasered. I have no idea where they're lasering me from. Like, honestly, my, uh, <laughs> I don't have any headphones, so I have no idea what is happening right now. All I know is I'm getting shot. I just really wish I took heals right now. Like, I can't use the rocket launcher for anything. Four people left. I got four kills. Oh, uh, if I just had some minis, I would have had more than enough time to take them. I'd be in the middle of a big pot right now. This would... Yeah. As of now, I'd be 100, 100 health, so... This is unfortunate, and I have no idea where they are. Are they in front of me? Okay. Build the wall. Build the roof. Build the roof. Let me build it. No! Let me... Oh, they were behind me. They had a rocket launcher too. I thought there was only supposed to be one. That is such a scam. Wow, they had 
god tier loot as well. Well, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching so much. I really hope that all you noobs out there will use this strategy, this pathing, this route, the drop to further give yourself an advantage in Fortnite if you haven't been able to get too many victory royales. It didn't work for me this time, but I hope it will work for you when you try it. So thank you guys for watching again. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and check out my other videos if you haven't already.